is Bryson to her? Hmm. Um. Black man. Creative, talented black man from Louisville, Kentucky. Very humble. I'm a pretty simple guy too. I, uh, I don't know. I like music, I love movies, I love video games, I love my kids. What's your biggest regret? Your second album, True to Self. My biggest regret in making the True to Self was that I was not being true to myself at all. Um, I was too worried about validation and what other people thought about me, and whether it be fans, whether it be my friends, whether it be uh, my peers. I just so badly wanted somebody to tell me I was good because it seemed like all I ever read online was that I was bad. I just spent way too much time thinking about that rather than like hone in and just like uh, be better, be better at music, be just better overall. You know, I was making music that was not true to me, true to who I am. I was changing my sound and my approach, you know, because of what they were saying about my first album. I just feel like the album was a bit rushed. I made Trap Soul and, you know, years later people were telling me that it's this and it's that. There's a lot of things that a lot of people said, but when it first came out, it was not, I like, a lot of people have amnesia when they, when it comes to that album. You know, they think it was just all gravy since it dropped. It was, it's not, it wasn't. You know, I felt like I was doing it all wrong, so that really caused me to go back into my shell and be like, man, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? What do you think about Bryson Tiller versus insert artists here? I, I hate when people pit artists against each other. There's so many amazing artists that I would have loved to, to work with, and I would still love to work with, but you know, you know, you get on social media and then you see fans and people saying stuff like, oh, Bryson Tiller's better than this person, or oh, so and so is way better than Bryson Tiller. But um, for me personally, I, would, I see that type of stuff and I'm just like, nah, like I'm, I don't, it doesn't do anything for my, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't, like reading that I'm better than another artist who is great at what they do, just does nothing for me. Like, cause I just want to be great in my own spot. It's bigger than just us. Like, you know, there are people out here who are hungry, who are starving for, for real music. And I feel like real music comes from like collaboration and, you know, artists sticking together and, and working with one another and, and lending each other um, their talents. Why do you think people like to put you in a box? It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to see somebody who's just good at so many different things um, musically, you know, to see me be able to jump on a rock song this week, then the next song I'm, you know, rapping my ass off, you know, Detroit Bouncer, and then in the next song I'm doing a children's song for uh, the Paw Patrol movie, and then after that I'm crooning um, about a girl or a relationship or something, like, makes people uncomfortable because they would just, like, want, would rather me just kind of stick to this one thing, and like, no, we just want you to make this, we just want you to make R&B, and I love R&B. R&B is where is my first love when it comes to music, 100%. But uh, I love all genres, so um, me just doing R&B like for the rest of my life is just that sounds so boring, and I think I get bored easy. Would you ever retire as an artist? And if so, why? Uh, yeah. I definitely will retire as an artist. And I think the main reason why is I'm afraid of losing my family. I'm scared of losing time with my family. My daughter is 10 years old now. I've been doing this since she was about three years old. And now, you know, she's getting older. She's kind of, she's got her friends. And I don't know, I've been, I feel like I've been telling her the same thing for the past eight years since I've been in the music industry since Trap Soul. And um, I always told her the same thing, Daddy, gotta work, I gotta work, I gotta finish my album. So yeah, I think I would, I think I would retire. Just for that reason, I don't wanna lose my family. I don't want 
want them to look at me differently or think that I care about work too much. 